Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, there we go, I just got the notification, that's good. Again, this is not gonna be for my viewers. Although it says live stream offline, but it, I just got the notification that I was live streaming. What's going on OBS? OBS, what are you doing? Hang on, I wanna, I wanna know if I'm actually streaming or not. I just got a notification that I was streaming, and then when I went to that video, it said stream offline. So, I, it's fucking with me. Um, yes, here we go. Okay, there we go. I'm online. Okay, so I'll show you the new arrow that I get. Um, I did see your comments. Actually, you can see the PS3 eye right there. Um, it is on the blue setting, so it's all fine. Um, I'm going to run you through everything that that I'll be doing. So let me just make sure that my VR is actually plugged in. I think it is. Should be. I don't know if it lights up when China starts, but um, I don't want to go through the trouble of admin mode doing this, this shit again, so I'm going to have to use my camera instead of display capture. Oh, it's caught on something. What is it? There we go. Hold up. Okay. So on here. Let me move my mic a little bit. There we go. Okay. On here, there's Trinus. I'm going to load up Trinus. I know it's ghetto. I know this is all ghetto that I'm showing you with my camera, but it's because um, admin mode disables OBS. So I have to restart my computer every single time it does that. And I don't want to restart my computer. So in here, we're going to do start. So Trinus, my PS4 VO is going to light up. That means that it's plugged and it's all hooked up. That's all fine. It is on Steam VO display one and on the VO setting. That's good. And now it's calibrating the rotation and it's already calibrated. So that's good. Now we can go to my PS4 VR in here. We can go to here. And I did see your test camera thing. So like, yeah, sure. It's not going to work here, but I have to enter everything. So I think you said uh, 30 for the frame rate and then 640 for the resolution. And then there we go. Now you guys will be able to see that you'll be able to see me. And over there is where my VR is. You'll be able to, you'll be able to see where my VR is. So yeah. Okay. So this works now. Happy New Year's giving. Oh, thanks Nate. <laughs> okay. Nate, if you don't know what's going on, Oh, it's just heroic. Happy with <laughs> Yes, Merry Christmas, guys. Um, okay. Well, this is a little weird. This is a little weird, guys. Th this is a little weird, guys, because I don't think you guys know what's happening right now. I'm trying to set up move contr move controllers, but it's not working. So I, I have um, one of uh, another YouTuber helping me out with it. So that's why I'm streaming right now. Uh, because recording doesn't work because it goes into admin mode and it fucks everything up. So anyways, so you'll be able to see my camera up there is working. So I'm just going to minimize all that and I'm going to go into PS Move Service Admin. I'm going to say yes because obviously it's admin. So now we're going to minimize that. We're going to go into the config tool. I'm going to say connect. I'm going to go into controller settings. Now this is already plugged in. But I'm gonna unpair it and I'll show you. Um, I'm gonna show you my step through all this. So let me just unpair all these. There we go. So now these are now off. Uh, this was for my left hand. So I'll do my right hand first because why not? And down here I'm just gonna plug it in, but I need two hands. So I'm just gonna put you guys right here. Camera's about to drop. There we go. I'm just gonna plug this in real quick. Uh. Boop. And now you can see that it's beeping at me, son of a bitch. Okay. Now you can see that it showed up over here. So now we're going to do pair controller. And basically, if you just press this, every single time it goes through the steps, it will actually go pretty fast. So step. Oh, is it because... Hold on. Okay, I'll actually do it correctly this time. Hang 
There we go. I did it. So now this one is ready. So now I should be able to just unplug this. It should stay on. There. Awesome. So now this is blue. It's blue. It's to my weight. Um, it's doing all that stuff. Now I need to calibrate it. So I need to place this on a flat surface. So control calibration, gen calibrate gyroscope. And trust me, it's stable. I don't know why it's so fidgety when it's not being fidgety, but trust me, it's stable. It's going to do all that. Um, as we're waiting, I can go and get my other controller. This is my, my left, my left hand. This is actually going to be yellow. And I'm going to run you, I'm going to go through all of the motion tracking with all this, not just the gyroscope, but I'll show you um, the... Uh, color management and stuff so over here just do that we're gonna press ok and now if I pick this up it's going to move at any of my rotations that I want it to move at that's exactly what I want now I can press ok I'm gonna put this right back over here I don't need it right now and now I need to plug in my other controller so I'm gonna go and do that Boop. Okay, now we're gonna pair the controller. Now we're gonna press, press. Great. There we go. And it's done. So now I can unplug this. It's still on. It's exactly what I want. Now I need to generate this gyroscope for this one. What happened? Oh, there we go. Wait, it just unpaired my other controller though. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, I'm stupid. Uh, okay. So this was the yellow one, I believe. Yeah, it was the yellow one. Generate gyroscope. Trust me, it's stable. <laughs> Notifications in the bottom right corner. Go to that. Oh, great. <sighs> oh crap! I moved it. Okay. Well, I think it's gonna act the same way. I moved. I touched it slightly. An accident, so I don't know if that's gonna. Hey, let's press OK. Nah, it didn't. It didn't mess up anything. We're fine. We're all good. Okay, now let's press OK. Okay, now it should be all hooked up. I can go over here. And now, yes, I saw your comment. I saw you. I saw you comment down there. Hello, Senge. Oh, is it hello? Uh, now let's return to the main menu. And now I can go to tracker settings. Um, now, if I do test video feed, yes, you'll see all this. You're not supposed to see a lot. Uh, now we need to do calibrate tracking colors. Now, this is for my blue, so this is gonna light up over here. Um, basically, I need to hold it like this, and I need to right click on that thing over there. So I need to, I'm gonna hook this up to a place where you're gonna be able to see everything just fine so if I just calmly put this down like right here and I look at OBS just to see if you can see everything yes you can you can see everything okay so if I hold this up to the camera and I go and I'm right clicking it oops going to masked I right click as you can see it's right there so this is all that the tracking is going to see. And if I stand up and I go all the way over to here. Let me move everything. So I'm back here. So you can see me really well there. So that's all with that. Save and apply. Now I can go back to tracker settings. I can change this to be the yellow one, calibrate, 
Now this one's going to turn off, and now it's going to go to my left. And why can't it not see? Oh, that's why, because it's on this mode. Here it is. So right click. There, now I can see. Now it's not yellow on the camera, but it is in real life. So I don't think it really matters right now. But so let's save that, apply it, let's go back to the main menu. Now, I don't know if you actually did this part, but I'm gonna just do it just because. Now this one's gonna be a little wonky. So we need to do compute tracker poses using controller, okay? So, now I have a little bit of a paper here. Is this the one? Yes. I have this little piece of paper here, and if you guys can't see, this is my little piece of paper. Okay, it's gonna ask me to put this on number one, number two, number three, number four, and then number five. So I need to put this on the ground in my headset is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna put it behind stuff so then the camera doesn't get confused with it. There we go. Put this down right over here. It needs to be facing this way. Okay. Can it see that? It totally can. Now I'm gonna put it in a place where I'm actually going to be standing. So I'm gonna put it right in queue. And I'm just gonna point this towards the camera right in the middle. I'm gonna say, looks good. Now I'm gonna be moving it a lot so then it doesn't think that it's actually on number one yet. So I'm gonna go to number one. Number one is here. Is that calibrated for that? I think so. Now let's try number two. Now number three. Number four. Number five. Now if I pick it up, it didn't work. Oh, okay. I did something wrong. Hold on. We still calibration. Let me try this again. Number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now if I pick it up, there we go. Now you can see I'm picking it up. It doesn't, it's not working as properly, but it is actually moving with my body. So that is good. So now it's saying fail because it can't see anything. So if I go into here now it says okay, because now it can actually see my thing. So uh, now if I go to tracker settings, and I do the same thing, but with the blue, just do the same thing with the blue. And by the way, I'm using your tutorial and someone else's tutorial as well. So that's why it's like that. So now, looks good. Now, I need to go out here. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. So now if I pick it up. Really? Uh, uh, I don't know why it's not. Hold up. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm just gonna move this over. I know you guys might not be able to see, but. What is going on? Okay, Singa, you. Singa, you're doing this on purpose now. You're watching my stream. Hold on. What are you doing? I'm streaming right now, and you know that. <laughs>
Oh my god. Fucking asshole. Okay. Alright. Let's go and do this. So, on number one. Completed. Number two. Number three. Number four. And now number five. Oh my god, I'm getting sick of doing this, dude. I swear. Ah, okay. You know what? I'm gonna go and do this. I'm gonna do it anyway. Number five. It just told me to do it again. Okay, so now when I keep it stable, that's when it's not working. Oh. Yeah, see, now it's being all wonky because I didn't do it correctly. <sighs> okay. Hold on. I'm sitting down now to get this more stable. Correct. Number two. Correct. Number three. Correct. Number four. Correct. Number five. Correct. There. So now it works. So now I'm going back to here. So now that's all calibrated. Now I can go return to the main menu. And I believe I can just exit. I believe if I just exit, uh, keep this running. Oh, is it because admin mode is already on? Okay. And by the way, I do have the test camera here, although it says not responding. So let me. I think it's because I was just using my camera, so it's like I can't use two cameras at once. So let me go back in here just to make sure. So if I just press Q, yeah, okay, so it's still looking good. Exit that. So now, Trinus is on. PS Move Service Admin.exe is on. Okay. Now, oh, sing it. Because you, because you, because you texted me, now I don't have my stream up anymore. Hold on, I need to get my stream up, guys. Also, why is there four people coming? Oh, I was joking around, so I did. Oh, it's okay. Nate wanted me to tell you that he getting chased by werewolves. Oh, of course he is. Okay. So, if I start Steam VR. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's going to crash. I'm sorry. Hold on. It's because I, I didn't show you install. <laughs> okay, so it's working now. Hold on. Hang on a second, guys. Let me pick up my headset. Now we're here. Okay. Hold on, let me do a little trick here. There we go. All right, hold on, guys. Why is it not deactivating? Probably because in here, yeah, that's why. Deactivate, streaming. There you go, now it's activated. Okay, good. Display capture. Chooses not to work because it's in admin mode. That fucking sucks. Okay. You guys won't be able to see what I see. Sadly. It's, hold on. There. The reason why I'm sorry guys the reason why you guys won't be able to see is because um
Okay, it's gonna be tilted for you guys. I'm sorry. It's gonna be tilted. It's because admin mode is running. So right now it's tilted for you guys. I'm sorry, but let's just see if this even works. Let me put on my headset. I should probably take my hat off. Let's see. Okay. So Steam VR Home is on, but these are not lit up. So yeah. Let me check something real quick. I think I might know why. I know that you know why too. You might want to watch the rest of this video before you comment because I think I just figured out why. Let me move this back to my desktop here. Reason why I wasn't working was let's quit. It's because in the files, I do not have what you have. I do not have the install drivers, but I do have, or the SteamVR plugin. But I do have installer here. Let me just make sure that you guys, let me just make sure you can see that because that's gonna be weird if you can't. Okay, so in your video, you had a Steam VR installer thing for like the plugins. Well, I don't have that. So inside installer, there is an install.bat, Steam VR activate multiple drivers.bat. So if I do install.bat, it's gonna do all that. Now, me and my friends over here probably know that this is probably Python um, because press a key to continue. You need to press a key to close the window, but if that wasn't a thing, then it would just close the window instantly after the whole thing done. Because it's probably gonna say exit key negative one or something quickly. Yeah, it said it like super quick and then it just closed. Okay, so now I did install, it installed. Now if I do Steam VR, setting to activate multiple drivers to true in SteamVR.VO settings. Found VO settings path, da 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 da. Activate multiple drivers is already set to true. Successfully set it to, so that's to set the activate multiple drivers to true. I'm gonna press whatever key. Um, so I'm just gonna do all this, just see what this does. Runtime path, Steam VR, that's good. Log path, Steam logs, that's good. Drivers, uh, drivers for Razor Hydra, whatever that means. And then we have this driver. Um, desktop, PSVR, the PS Move. My desk just vibrated for whatever reason. <laughs> um, drivers, PS Move. And then it says done. So that must mean that there is, uh, that it successfully installed the driver. Registers drivers. Registering PS Move Steam VR driver, press any key. F, I don't know, press any key. Set drivers values. Okay, um, Steam VR un unregister. I don't want to do that, and I do not want to uninstall. So now, another step is to go into the Steam files. So let me do that real quick. Let me. Oh, I need to open up another window here. Hold on a second. Let me just put you put you over here. Uh, okay. I think it's in here. Program files, Steam. Inside resource, let me. So I'm in Steam. I'm in Steam. There is a resource, and if I double click there, it has all this. If I scroll down, see a bunch of things too. It's still in here. Doesn't look like it's still in here. Okay, never mind then. Um. That's how I got to it last time, so I don't know where it would be this time. Maybe just in Steam. Let me let me check on your video real quick.
because I did it your way and another way as well, just to make sure that it worked. And well, it didn't work. <laughs> Hold on a second. You're probably gonna kill yourself, so I'm just gonna mute that. Okay, so you went into Steam Config, Steam VR. Got it. Wait, what was that? Okay, yeah, I was correct then. Okay. Okay. Just to make sure. So on here, it's gonna be config right there. Config. Da, 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 da. Steam VO dot VO settings. It's gonna already be set to true. Activate multiple drivers. True. Um. Yeah. So, one of the things that I also saw was it should have been like this. Oh, sorry. Like that. Uh, to clarify that it's uh, it's done with this line of code, but I mean it defaulted to that, so might as well not change it. And I didn't change anything, so don't save. So the drivers installed successfully. One, two. Uh, it set the multiple drivers true. Oh, activate multiple drivers to true. So now if I go ahead and run Steam VO, let's just make sure. Yes, Trinus is still running, and. PS Move is still running. So now let's start Steam VO. Let's see if it does what it did to me. I don't know. It might. Okay, it's working now. Unresponsive Steam VO Home. We'll just let that do its thing. Okay, so now we're here. Now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you what I would see in the headset. I'm not gonna put it on, but I'm just gonna lift it up. This is what I see. There is nothing here that, yeah, a little weird. Um, both of my motion controllers are indeed on. They are on and they are working. They're all synced up. The lights are not on for whatever reason. So, let's go ahead and quit this. Quit. Okay, so let's open up PSVO again. Let's go into the config tool. Press connect. It says connecting, I don't know. Usually it would go like instantly. Hold on exit. Let me try it again. I might have to restart the. Oh, let me restart this. Connect. There you go. Now it's doing that. So as you can see, they are both here. Um, I don't know what. Maybe this is causing the problem or something. I don't know. But controller zero is here. Blue, right. Controller one, yellow, left. Probably can't see that. I'm sorry. Well, let me zoom in. Or show you. So controller settings. So this is on, and this is working. Controller calibration. It's all working. Controller test, test orientation. Let me go and get my controller. Which one is it testing? This one. Yeah. This is working. That's okay. This one's working. So see, I'm moving this one. That's working. So it's working. It's just not. So let me see here. Return HMD settings. So it says no HMDs, whatever. But tracker. Um, so if I do calibrate. So now it lights up. So it's doing it correctly, though. You know, I've already, I already hit save and all that. Test tracking. What does that mean? Oh, I see. Hold on a second. Let me put this down somewhere here. There we go. Put it right there on my chair. That's fine. Okay. So 
to see. So it's at the ground. It is a little fidgety. I can pick it up. So that is actually looking perfectly fine. Okay. So I forgot that the camera was at, right there. Um, what it might be is calibrate controller uh, using position using controller. Because I know, I don't think you did that in your video. Oh god, you can't even see that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry this has to be so ghetto, but... <laughs> okay. So this is all here. Um, you already know that the camera's working. So it's really, really, really weird. Uh, test the video feed. See, it's like this. It's it's dark because, well, how else is it gonna track the light anomalies? Like my PS headset. See, it can track that really well because it's actually lit up. But uh, okay. Test tracking pose. Let me just make sure. Oh, it's a little fidgety. Uh, that's because I'm not in the cam with you, though. I love how I'm taking you with me. But yeah, see that that is showing up. Um, let me just check the uh, yellow one then. Test tracking. This is the yellow one. I'm gonna pick it up. If I move it, it's looking, uh, yeah. So you're using that pillow? Yeah. You can use that one. For the night? Mm -hmm. I can sleep without a pillow. It's up to you, I just want it for Acadia. Sure, I'll well, take it. I can take it if you want. Okay. I'm doing a stream right now. Sorry guys, my niece is here, and she's spending the night. It was very scary. Okay, so, tracker settings. Test tracking video, what does this do actually? Color calibration test tracking pose. Tracker settings, so, yellow. So, oh yeah, see that's tracking right there. So it's tracking everywhere nice um okay so yeah it seems to be working it's just steam vr doesn't import it for whatever reason what if i keep this open what if i keep all of that open and then i start steam vr and for i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll just find out because <laughs> i don't know See, so this is what, this is what I got before. Steam VR is in safe mode. Due to a, a recent crash, Steam VR is currently operating in safe mode. In this mode, it will only trust trusted drivers to avoid compatibility issues. If I do disable safe mode, so you can see the button doesn't work. And then it also says headset not detected. Um, so, yeah. Let me quit out of that. And let me close this. And let me close this. There you go. So now only the admin is up and trying us. So now let's open up Steam VO. So this automatically opens up. This is and now it says Steam VO in safe mode again. Now Usually, if I if I restart my computer and I try this again, what will happen is Steam VR will no longer be in safe mode, and it will start to work. But then headset not detected will come up. So, what I'm thinking is happening is the move controllers is interfering with the headset, and it because in your video you said make sure Trinus is running before you set up your controllers because 
Instead, it's going to try to track your headset instead of your controllers. So, yeah. <laughs> Unless, hold on. Hang on a second. Dismiss. I want to try something real quick. I don't know if this is going to work. It's going to be, well, disobeying your instructions, but I'm going to hit stop on this. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to close Chinas. I'm just going to go into PSVO. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to go into... Uh, I'm going to start this up, admin mode. There you go. And then I'm going to do PS config tool. Connect. HMD settings. So now it just says no HMDs. So I'm guessing that's for an Oculus. And so that's why you had it. Um, that's why you said have Trinus because this doesn't support that, I'm guessing. Okay. So let me open up Trinus, whatever that is. Here it is. Let me hit start. Calibre. I'm going to try this one more time. And if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to end the live stream. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. So a test camera should work. I just press Q. I don't know. This works. And I can't close it. There we go. Uh, enable admin mode. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try it without admin mode. I'm just going to try it the regular. Um, the controllers are on. And now I just start Steam VR. So this opens up. Before that didn't open up. So let me try something else because I wanted to do this for a little bit. I wanted to try this. If I go into PS Move and I go into Installer and I uninstall the driver. Run well, anyways. Okay, uninstallation successful. Plus H. Well, what of a button? Unregistered drivers. Cannot find the path. That's because I uninstalled it. So now, if I open up Steam VR, because now I just uninstalled it, will it do that? See, now we're back to here. So it seems that PS Move is interfering with Steam VR. So now I can pick up my headset, I can move it around and do whatever I want. But my heads, uh, but my controllers are not there. It's not even lighting up. That's because I just uninstalled it. So that's supposed to happen. There's a bird. Why is that bird looping? Okay. Where's my? Uh... Here we go. That's better. Now we can just do quit. So now I'm gonna try to install them back. If that even does anything for me, let's do install. Um, found where to install. Yeah, it's just deleting the things that it left behind before setting activate multiple drivers to true and Steam VR.VR settings. So this actually does everything for you. Um, so when I run this, what it does is it actually installs the driver or the plugin, I mean, or the driver, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And then it also sets Steam VR. Uh, the options to say activate multiple drivers to true. Anyway, so it does that, it does everything already in here. Press any key to continue. Um, let me just go through here though anyways, just do all that and register. List all the drivers. Uh, yeah, so now external drivers, PS move is now a driver in there. Good, let me show you just so you can see. It says that drivers PS move. So that's working. That is that is working. Now obviously you don't have to watch this whole video, but <laughs> it's saying register drivers, set drivers vars. I'm not gonna do that. Not right now. I'm just gonna start for let me restart everything. So I'm gonna hit stop and I'm gonna hit start. go to here and I'm just gonna run this there we go ok 
Okay, now I'm going to hit Steam VO. Now it's probably gonna crash again and go into safe mode. Yep, so it crashed again. Quit. When I say it crashed, basically I'm just saying it went to it, it crashed and then it reopened itself and then it put itself into safe mode. That's basically what it did. So now if I go into here, let me close that, and then if I go into installer and then I go into set driver vars, it's gonna do I don't know, I can't read Actually that doesn't say anything. There's that's why it opens and closes, because it doesn't say anything inside the window. It's just a black screen. Okay, so now since I did that I can now open this up and let's just see in here steam vo settings oh it actually doesn't have it in here anymore so it must have gotten rid of it so let's just see let's see if I get that same error again and then I might know how to fix it now let me get my chair here. Okay, so yeah, it did that. Also, wait, hold on. Let me do that again. I think my controller just lit up and then disabled itself. Yeah, it lights up and then it disables itself. Okay, so I'm on the right track here. Let's quit that. Um, now let's... Uh, I wanted to... I think I remember it just by how it is and since I know how to code I should be able to know this kind of know how things work okay so it's camel case so activate multiple drivers Wait, almost got me there. Also, oh, it's only one space. True. Now, one thing is, is if I spelt this wrong, because if I spelt it wrong, that would be a bad. Oh, I can just go and see in here. That that could be a thing. That could be a thing. Activate multiple drivers. True. So I got that correct. Let me just. Replace this. There you go. Yeah, so I got it correct. All right. So now, let me just restart this because I don't know. Just restart it. Now, do Steam VR. Okay, so it lights up and then it goes off again. So it crashed again. Yeah, okay. So, I'm trying to think. Let's try to run it in admin mode then. Let's run it in admin mode. And let's do Steam VO. I actually don't know. I don't know what it's doing now. <laughs> okay, so now. Now it says Compositor is not available. You'll need to run Steam VO to work correctly. Restart Steam VO. Okay. Restart Steam VO again, I guess. Oh great, now it just says it's <laughs> it crashed again. Okay. So reading the arrows here, it says, let me bring this closer. It says no connection could be made because the target machine activi actively refused it. So, I'm guessing my machine just doesn't want it to work in some way. Maybe you could help me on this. I don't know. I wanted to get this working before Christmas break was over. We're still in it, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah, that's that.
let me open this back up on my, on my webcam. Hang on a second. Let me move this around here. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, so yeah, uh, it didn't it didn't work. So now you know how I uh, my my setup is. And if you if you spot anything wrong, then just tell me. Um, but I'm pretty sure I followed all your instructions. I even put it. I even did more than your instructions. Um, activate multiple drivers. True. You did a comma though. Is that why I crashed? Because there was no comma there? That would make sense. Hold on, let me try that real quick. Now I don't know what uh I don't know what code they're using there, but um usually when code does that it still works. It just gives you an error and that's all. But maybe if it's like, well, if there's an error then just instantly crash. Okay, so it actually just got rid of activate multiple drivers. Every single time it crashes, I guess it does that. That's weird. Okay, hold on. Let me let me do this then. We're getting somewhere. Now let's do a comma at the end. File save. Uh, let's do file save and then quit done now let's open up steam vr again steam vr is not available because the supported headset was not detected that's what it says okay well steam vr is opening so i don't know why i did that Okay, so now this is what it tells me. Oak. So now, oh, you can't, you can't even see if I do that. Cameron Levitt dot. <laughs> so now it says compositor is not available. Um, but now that's there. So uh, apparently I'm doing something correct. I don't know what it is, but I don't know what it is, but it'd be working. So. Let me go back into the config folder. Watch it act deactivate itself again. Well, actually, it just completely removed it from everything. It just completely removed itself. Let me reopen. Yeah, before it's not like that anymore. Hold on. <laughs> So that's gonna be like that. That is not gonna be like that. That's gonna be more like. Oops. It's gonna be more like that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. You guys are still watching. I indent this properly. Make sure. Is that no? Seems like it's there now. Okay. File save. Can I? Can I keep this open? Nah, I'm not gonna try that. I feel like that's gonna break everything. Steam VO. And this is running back here. Should start over here, there we go. So now it didn't crash, but now it just says headset not detected. And if I go into, let's say run room setup, let's just do room scale or whatever next. 
it says headset off so it's not detecting my headset at all um quit let's go and check the config folders to see if it did the thing it did not okay so we're good there so I did this correctly now. Steam VR, I did that correct. Oh, you, you can't even see, but basically, every single time Steam VR would crash, it would completely get rid of this line of code. So I put it back. Uh, I get I guess it crashed one too many times, and so it just got rid of the whole entire Steam VR there. So, um, yeah. So now I just have this. Okay. Now. To make sure that I have everything, I'm going to go on your video, and I'm just gonna go to that line of text that you had. Okay, but I don't know about mirror view geometry, because that might be different to me. I don't think so, maybe. So mirror view geometry, that's the PS Move touchpad, so I don't need that. That's what I have last known. Is that why? Is it because it's telling, it's saying that... I think that's why it's not working. Okay. File save. And if this messes up everything about SteamVO, then I can just reinstall SteamVO, which is what I might do. There's too many Zeus's in this chat right now. <laughs> okay, now it just says headset not detected. Now let's quit. Let me go back into config. Let me go back into here. Okay, so now it's that. So it's all okay. It's all working. So I'm going to do activate drivers to mirror view geometry. So I'm just going to... You can't... You're not going to be able to see this. But... You know what, I'm gonna try to make you be able to see this because I don't want to hold the camera. So I'm just gonna do this and then I'm gonna zoom in with my webcam. Hold on. Hang on, configure video. It froze. Okay, it's working now. Okay. Hold on. Properties. Configure. It's not letting me configure the video again. Ugh. That's what you get, camera. That's what you get. You get unplugged. That That's what happens. That's what happens. I think my camera is just not going to work now because I did that. Let me delete that whole entire thing right there. I can't even delete the source. Um, I think I just crashed the stream, guys. Guys, I crashed the stream. I crashed the stream. I got pocket money. And a jacket and a t-shirt and maybe a Nintendo Switch. Ooh, I got an Xbox storage drive, a nice gaming chair, and a table. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> am I going again? Am I, am I going again? I crashed the stream, guys. My camera crashed the stream. <laughs> uh, activate. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're working again. <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. Oh, look, my configure. It doesn't work anymore. Okay. Well, you know, we'll just have to deal with that. Okay, guys. Oh, it's because it's because it's back here. Duh. That would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. Hold on. <laughs> Did you <laughs> bail bail? Yeah, I'm with the bail bondsman. Um, brightness, contrast, sharp saturation, balance, background game. 
I can't lose the focus tab. Oh, it's in here. Okay. Oh. I messed it up again, I think. Oh, turn off auto. Oh, that's great. Glad that's working. Glad that's working like that. Okay, well that's the only thing I can <laughs> the only thing I can do. Whatever. Uh oh. I'm pressing OK. What's going on? There we go. Jesus. Oh, I think it's because I opened it so many times that everything just crashed on me. Okay, so what was I gonna do? I was gonna go into config, Steam VR. Okay. Jesus Christ, my fucking camera just crashed everything. Alright. So you have why does my scroll wheel do that? Okay. Mirror view geometry. So let's type that in. I don't know why it isn't going with tab. Just know what you get for Christmas. Um I got I already showed you what I got for Christmas. I got a piano. Mostly a piano and the chair. Okay, so what was it? It was view geometry. I spelled that wrong, but don't do that. Oh, mirror view geometry. Geometry. Mirror view geometry. There we go. That looks correct. It is. Good. Um, now, 24497. 244 97 1403 863. There you go. 463 863. Oh, aha. Good thing I checked. 863. And then that is in co quotation marks, and there's a comma at the end. Okay, next line of code. Oh, and I got a webcam. Yeah. Yeah, which I still haven't seen yet. Okay. What is the next one? Uh, next one is show me view true. Okay, so it's another Boolean variable. So show me view true. That's pretty easy to remember. Show me view true. With a comma or without a comma? Without a comma, apparently. But I want to do it with a comma because I feel like that would crash everything if I don't have a comma. Maybe it's like, I don't need a comma if it's at the end of the, the end of the code. Like it's the last line of code that there is. Not accounting for the closed brackets. I don't know, man. Man, I don't know these controls. Okay. Let's see. Okay, well you said don't save. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And I will copy all of this just in case if it does not work. Yeah, I do wanna see. A little bit a little bit later though, okay? After the stream, we I can I can go and see. Cause right now I'm trying to I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do this so I can get Beat Saber, pretty much. Um to be honest with you. That's why I'm trying to do this. I don't know if BT was on some type of sale. That's why I wanted to do it as quick as possible. But okay, so headset not detected. I expected that. Let's do quit. And let's try. Let's go into here. Oops, not not that one. Config. Okay, so this is all fine here. Let's get rid of the comma. Do file save, and then get out of here. 
Now do this. So I have exactly what you had, and we'll see if it works. No, still did not work. And I'm guessing it just got rid of everything in there or something, or it just defaulted. No, I don't know. So it might be something else. Um, I have no clue. Um, I have no idea. Maybe you can, maybe you can tell me. Um, I will, and again, I'm not talking to my viewers right now. I'm talking to the other YouTuber. Um, I'll text you and tell you, I'll give you time, I'll give you time stamps on what are the most important parts of the live stream that you need to look for. Because a lot of it was just moving stuff around and um, trying things out. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, There's going to be no outro because this is going on my channel, but it's not going to be for my channel, like I said in the beginning. So, um, yeah, goodbye, I guess.